Okay, so I want to do a walk around here uh, and explain this uh, trailer for sale. Uh, what I'm going to show you is the things that come with the trailer first. Anything other than what I'm showing you comes with the trailer does not come with the trailer. There's no tools in the toolbox. There's no tie downs. There's all of these loose items that are in here just haven't been, we haven't cleaned the trailer out yet. We'll do that if it get, when it gets sold. What comes with the trailer, the air hose, the chairs, the spare tire, the floor jack, so that you can change a tire if you come and pick the trailer up, the hitch, receiver head, and the weight distribution bars are going with it. The trailer includes a permanently mounted air compressor and the super winch with remote. Oh, there's the remote. Here it is. Here's the little remote uh, fob. The, the trailer can be, the car can be loaded or what have you can be loaded one person. It's, uh, you know, if you're loading a, a super late model car, it's a little easier for two to have two people, but you can do it by yourself. So you can see the cabinets. Of course, all that stuff isn't coming with the trailer. There is a box of uh, spare uh, marker lights and some other bits and pieces that do come with it. Um, all that stuff on top isn't going. This is the large main storage area. You can see it'll hold a lot of stuff. We never had any problems having not having enough room of course it, the trailer was full when we when we were using it but uh, uh, it's, it's got a lot of room the tra the uh, air compressor is plumbed from front to rear that's the rear one this is the middle one this is the front one there's a quick connect uh, in here where you can disconnect the air compressor from the plumbing and just run a hose from the air compressor so that if you did break one of the plastic lines which we have had happen uh, we could run them without uh, without having the line hooked up so you can see the ramps attach to the rear door for giving you a nice steady or nice easy incline so it's easy to load a car that's only sitting about three inches off of the road you need about that much clearance to to uh, to get them in without any clearance issues um, if it's if it's less clearance than that then you'd have to do some other boards and shims and stuff to to do it this is a just a, another ramp that we would use when we were working on the car we would use that so we could walk in and out and to do the pit cart and so on um, of course the pit cart the tent and that stuff does not go with the trailer so you can see I'm gonna walk around the entire body here you know there's some there's some scrapes and you know the paints faded you can see the rivets are all have all rusted supposedly stainless steel but I'm not sure 
Mm, apparently they're not. So in any case, there is no corrosion or rust damage in these panels. These are the rear panels and, the, and around the fenders. You know, this is where trailers rust out if they're used in the winter time and in, in any kind of salt and conditions. This is where the trailers get ruined. This trailer has never ever been used in the salt. And uh, so it, it's not all rusted out. The step, it, that's a really nice feature. Makes it so easy to get in and out with that uh, uh, four foot wide door. It's, uh, it's quite nice. Let's see how everything works. The, the, you can see the sway bars. All of that system is a reese system. And this trailer will tow very, very nicely down the road. Even in high winds, it, uh, we had no problems with sway, swaying or, or any kind of that type problems. It was, it just tows is really, really nice. The hitch head here, you can see how the, the, the jaws close around the ball. You just back into it, the jaws close around the ball and this saddle comes down and locks everything together. It's really, really easy to hook this trailer up. If you have a newer vehicle with a camera, man, you can do it two minutes it's it's very very easy to do the the barker 3500 pound tongue jack here it was brand new in 2019 um, we stopped using the trailer after the 2019 season that was our last race season trailer's been sitting since then um, this tongue jack uh, has more than enough power to it'll lift the back of the truck almost off of the ground it has so much power um, the hitch head also the hitch head itself that was new in 2019 uh, there had been some history of those breaking. We, we did actually break the, the one that we had replaced in 2019. And they sent us a free one after all of those years. Um, you can see, again, the condition. There, it's not tore up, you know, it's faded, all that kind of thing. Oh, let me get the keys for the let me get the keys for the generator door here. And the generator, the remote start is here. You can see there's 515 hours on the generator. Everything else for the generator is is in its own compartment. It's wired like an RV. Uh, it includes the extension cord. It's a Kohler generator. This is how they put it together. This trailer was built by United. It used to be called United Express. Maybe some people know it as that. Um, I question how they put the gas tank on top of the generator, but that's the way it was put together, and we've used it that way for 25 years. I shouldn't say I've used it for 25 years. We've only used this trailer about 10 years of the time that we've had it. Actually went down the road with it. So uh, The tires, there's four. The front and the rear tires are Goodyear. Load range D tires, as they're called, which are 65 pound tires. The center tires are Carlisle tires, load range E, which are 80 pound tires. The, the 
Carlisle tires have less than a thousand miles. The Goodyear tires, I can't tell you the mileage, but they're all in good condition, uh, good or better. I wouldn't be afraid to take this trailer on a thousand mile trip. It, it, the tires will be fine. Um, we did jack it up. This one just happens not to be touching, but we did jack it up and spin all the wheels and everything spins free. There's no no brakes dragging, there's no noise, there's no there's no brake problems that I know of. Um, I, like I said, we haven't used this trailer hardly at all since 2019. And we haven't used it at all to go to fully load the trailer and go to a racetrack with it. So uh, that's what I know about it. Um, I did move it around. I hauled my tractor in it last week. And I noticed that the brakes are a little bit weak. I, I'm i not going to look into it. Um, they probably just need to be cleaned and looked at. Uh, maybe the wiring has something going on, but um, it, it's being sold as is. The lights all work. I'll kind of give you a shot of the whole trailer here there is a little bit of damage right here tent rubbed it here probably and there's a there's a little bit of a crease in it at the top here on the on the left rear there's all of the halogen lights two in the rear two in the side I noticed the other day that the rear side one isn't working. Um, don't know if it's a connection problem or it, if it needs a new bulb. There is a new bulb in the toolbox. Um, uh, oh, oh, of course, it, it's, the fifth cart's not included. That's being sold separately. Um, I think that pretty much covers it. Um, if you have any other questions, you'll have to get a hold of me. Thanks. Bye.